Now I'm I'm gonna start. I'm gonna go. I'm, I'm gonna start out with the tr traditional day. If it was just traditional dating, you know, if somebody introduced me to somebody, that don't mean I'm going to like them. That don't mean I'm about to be with them. But I have a better sense of maybe knowing who I'm about to deal with. Hopefully y'all hear me. It have, it give me, Because if, if they're like the people that introduced me to this person, I kind of know who I'm dealing with. Because hopefully anybody that I know ain't going to introduce me to nobody that they don't know if I'm compatible. They just say, hey, I'm going to introduce you to this man, this woman, you know, not me, but a person, and, and y'all go from there. If you meet someone at a club or at a bar, you shaking them up, shaking them up, shaking them up, 7-Eleven, back door, little Joe. You might be rolling the dice. You don't know what you're getting. You don't. You holler at them, whether it's a male or female, you holler at them, they holler at you, y'all holler at each other. And here go my camera acting like I'm acting like I'm super black again. There we go. Thank you, camera, for coming back. And then y'all, y'all may holler at each other and start talking. But then you go on these dating websites. And y'all, you, 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 you got a whole, you, you be in the club. You you might be in the club, y'all. I'm gonna break it down. I'm gonna break it down at least when I was in the club. I don't go to the club no more. You be in the club and you might see uh three women that look interesting to you. We're gonna say three to five. I'm gonna say three. I ain't gonna go crazy. And these three women look interesting to you. And you wanna holler at them, but you may be a little shy because you don't want to get turned down. And last time, I don't know how they do it in the 2022. Last time I went to the club, boy, you roll up on a sister or a woman in the club. And I, you can't come with no, no what they used to call game. You just say, hey, how you doing? I'm all right. I don't want nothing. No, buy me no drink. Oh, I mean, they just go off on you. You just said hi. They just go off on you. And, and if you, you tuck your tail, you tuck your tail, you walk back to your table or wherever you was in the corner, and you just sit over there and pray to God. Ain't nobody saying what just happened. Because there's too many other fools that some went before you and saying some 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 BS. Let's just call a spade. And I forgot to tell y'all, this is real talk with Rod. I don't sugarcoat nothing. So on real talk with Rod segments, I'm gonna call it like I see it. So you go back and tuck your tail, and you over there, you over there, kind of shook up a little bit. And then you might you might wait about thirty more minutes and have you another drink or two, and then your nerves get a little more built up. And then you see somebody else you might want to talk to. Now you feel like you smooth. You smoother than a baby's ass right now. I'm just telling you. Again, hopefully I ain't offending nobody. I'm just, I'm just talking. And you roll up on her and you ain't going to say, hey, how you doing? Because that didn't work the first time. You might come up with something else. I ain't going to tell you what I would say. But you might come up with something else. I'm looking at these comments. You might come up with something else. I'm going to tell you right now, can I buy you a drink? Ain't going to work. You the loveliest woman in here ain't going to work. I don't know what you're going to come up with. You might come up with something else and then she shoots you down. You're done. You're done. Three people that you looked at that caught your attention, you tried to and you failed it all. Up. You go home, you deflate. I ain't saying this happened to me. I'm just saying this is what could happen to an individual. Then, but you go online and then you got pages after pages after pages after pages after pages of women that pop up in your geographical location. Now, here's what's going to get a little tricky. You read about, oh Lord, I'm going to say B and B. I want y'all to hear what I'm saying, B and B, because I got fussed about this quite a bit. I left some out of my bio when I met my ex. Your bio might be some bull-ish. <laughs> Let's just say that your bio could be some bull-ish. You might leave some out and you might add some extra stuff in. And they like what they read. I hope Kayla Mark coming here because I know they met on her and I would love to have them up to tell their story. If anybody here can get in touch with Kayla Mark, that'd be great. I can text them. 
because they met online and they, they have a great love so they're still together but you 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 see this person and, and I just think online could be a little easier because when you when you when you when you uh connect with them or whatever you start typing they, you ain't wearing no so they can't see what you're wearing you might be in there in your, your Santa Claus pajamas. You might be in there with your mismatch, uh, or something that don't even match. And you might type a little better than you talk. You ain't nervous because you're sitting at the crib. You're in your bedroom, your, your living room, your, your office, wherever you be typing at in the crib. And you're over there throwing your game, whether you're male or female. You're just throwing it down. <laughs> And they give you an opportunity. Now, sooner or later, you got to meet. You're going to have to meet sooner or later. So it ain't going to be, it ain't going to be, it ain't going to be pieces of cream from now on. Because sooner or later, you got to meet. So I'm going to tell you one of the advantages that I think about dating sites. And, and, and I'm not, I'm, I'm gonna, in a minute, I'm going to jump back in these comments. One of the advantages I think of dating sites. <sighs> Don't y'all shoot me. Well, you can't shoot me, but don't y'all go off. Don't shoot me in the comments. If you're going by traditional dating, and let's say I grew up in a small town in Arkansas, I may only be held captive by my geographical area in a small town in Arkansas, a small town in Texas, a small town in California. However, comma, on a dating site my my geographical location is broad now if i ain't got no money to get nowhere else then i would stay back in the same spot however i may meet somebody i may meet somebody online that is two three states away and i'm like oh man cool and then i may set it up I may say, hey, I'm going I'm to I'm I'm fly out there and meet you. I'm going to drive out there and meet you, whatever the case may be. And I am going to go up in these comments because I, I see some stuff here. Uh, uh, hey, what's up, Keisha? How you doing? Much love. How you doing? Glad to have you in here. And to want to say it really doesn't matter where you meet somebody. What matters is the quality of time you spend and getting to know one another. It take it slow and be sure, which which is a whole nother live stream. I ain't, I'm, I'm gonna bring that up right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring it up right now. We're gonna have two or three topics in one live stream. Take your time and take it slow. How slow is slow? How slow is too slow? Oh man, I don't even know what this is, but I'm about to bring him up here. Oh man, hey, I like this here, y'all. When I don't know who it is, and I might know. But I don't know. Hey, hey, we got a special guest in the crib. I'm just going to bring him up right now. But I do have a question before I bring him up. Y'all, want y'all let this marinate. Let this marinate like a slab of ribs. How slow is too slow? When you say take your time, because this is just my take. I ain't saying as I am. I'm just telling you my take. People that are going online dating, and one of the reasons they want to be online, oh, man, we got all kind of people in here. Yes, I love it, y'all. Boy, oh, this is going to be good. I knew this was going to be good when I came up with this topic. But I think one of the reasons people go online is because they want things to move quicker. 